Type 3, masonry or ordinary construction, usually comprises brick walls for the exterior with combustible materials inside. Walls, columns, beams, roofs, and floor are made of wood, plaster, and lath. This type of construction was tremendously popular for single-family, multi-family, and apartment structures for most of the last century. This ordinary construction is still the predominant building type in the majority of older communities and urban metropolitan areas. The strengths of a Type 3 building are in the brick and wood used. A moderate amount of fire is usually not enough to compromise the structural integrity of the building materials thanks to the surface to mass ratio of the materials used in the construction. However, a fire that has significant time to establish itself can compromise the combustible construction materials. The combustibility of materials leaves these buildings open for collapse. Fire can ignite wood floor joists and cause them to fail. Excess water from fire suppression can increase the weight in older buildings beyond the capacity of structural members. Excess loads, including firefighters on a weakened surface such as a roof or floor, can cause a sudden collapse. Fire service members must understand the signs of impending collapse. The first exterior sign is falling bricks. Watch also for large running cracks through several feet of brick or protrusions to the exterior. Floors and roofs that have bounce or spring when stepped on are additional signs of potential collapse. One other fundamental concern in Type 3 construction is the voids between the masonry walls and the studs and lath establishing the interior walls. This gap is a perfect pocket of both air and space for the fire to travel. Fire in these types of buildings will often jump floors through the walls. That potential should be at the forefront of any tactical plan for a Type 3 building. Early recognition of the building materials involved, coupled with the existing fire load, lets firefighters select a proper mode of attack or defense. The ability to detect signs of potential collapse protects the individual firefighter as well as fellow responders and civilians. Diligent and continued study of the principles of building construction, combined with regular pre-planning and area familiarization, is the best way for firefighters to prepare for the obstacles they will undoubtedly face on the emergency scene.